Hello everyone, I am Dr. Injum Rashid. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss differential diagnosis of post-axial polydactyly in children. Post-axial polydactyly means there is an extra digit on the alert side of the hand. Now this can be subtle and consists of no more than a small projection of tissue. And it is usually between the metacarpophalangeal and proximal interphalangeal creases. Now the first differential of post-axial polydactyly is autosomal dominant non-syndromic familial post-axial polydactyly. This is caused by a dominant allele of a gene. This means it can be passed on by just one allele from one parent if they have the disorder. Second differential is Petau syndrome. It is caused by chromosomal abnormality in which some or all of the cells of the body contain extra genetic material from chromosome 13. Clinical features include severe mental deficiency, holoprosencephaly, polydactyly, flexion of the fingers, rocker bottom feet, facial clefting, neural tube defects, and heart defects. Third differential is Ellis Van Creevel syndrome. It is caused by mutation in EVC gene located on chromosome 4. Now it is characterized by cardiac murmur, multiple oral frenula, natal teeth, small deep set nails, narrow thorax and short limb dwarfism which is mesomelic pattern. Another differential is gen asphyxiating thoracic dystrophy. It is a rare autosomal recessive ciliopathy and is characterized by multiple skeletal muscular abnormalities, multiple organ involvement and variable severity. A very narrow thorax with shortened ribs and variable limb shortening are hallmark of this syndrome. Other associated anomalies include brachydactyly, polydactyly as well as renal and hepatic dysfunction and retinal dystrophy. Now mutation in DYNC2H1 is the most common defect in this syndrome. Another important differential is Meckel gruber syndrome. It is a lethal rare autosomal recessive congenital syndrome and is caused by mutation in genes encoding proteins that are structural or functional component of the primary cilium. It is characterized by triad of occipital encephalocele, large polycystic kidney and post-axial polydactyly. Associated abnormalities include oral clefting, genital anomalies, liver fibrosis and central nervous system malformation including dandy walker and ornal chiari malformation. Pulmonary hyperplasia is the leading cause of death. Now, improvement in ultrasonography have enabled prenatal diagnosis as early as 10 week gestation. Another important differential is Carpenter syndrome. It is a rare autosomal recessive condition. It has been associated with RAP23 gene mutation which is located on chromosome 6. In addition, three key single nucleotide polymorphism in MEGF8 gene which are located on chromosome 19 have also been identified as a primary cause of Carpenter syndrome. Now, Carpenter syndrome presents several features. These include tower-shaped skull because of craniosynostosis, which is the premature fusion of one or more cranial switches. Other features include additional or fused stitches, that is polydactyly or syndactyly, and these are present in fingers and toes. There may be obesity, reduced height, and undescended testes. Intellectual disability is also common with this disorder, although some patients may have average intellectual capacity. Now, the last important differential of post-axial polydactyly is parted beetle syndrome. It is a rare genetic disorder with highly variable symptoms. While there are more than 20 genes associated with it, the underlying cause regardless of the gene is malfunction of the primary cilia, which is a key component of the cellular communication. Now, the primary characteristics of this syndrome include visual impairment which is caused by retinal abnormalities, obesity, polydactyly, hypogonadism, renal abnormalities due to kidney malfunction or malformation, and learning disabilities. Secondary characteristics include developmental delays, behavior problems, neurological problems, and hypertension. There may be speech disorder, dental anomalies, and lack of sense of smell. Flat white feet, 
with no arches, thyroid problem, strabismus or short stitches. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel.